I have a super difficult riddle I'm not sure if we will be able to solve it here in time but I would be interested to see uh, you to tackle it sure drop it in fit ratios I'm bad with shapes uh, this one the, the ratios I have is, is not shapes you can you, you can drop the riddle for us uh, dr. hang we could think about it if I don't know it off the bat we might do the ratios and let that question you know bounce around the head a little bit and see if an answer will come up right why not why not always good to challenge is it a math riddle I'm usually pretty bad at riddles to tell you the truth I you know if I was a victim of the Riddler I would die he'd kill me solve this riddle to free yourself oh. so here's the question I believe at least it took me like forever okay maybe it's easier for you three points a B and C are placed at random on a circle of radius R what is the probability oh that the triangle ABC is acute acute is smaller than 90 degrees right the angle uh, obtuse I always forget the names uh, acute is less than 90 right and this is probability oh yeah this would take me forever as soon as you introduce probability it's like dang because I'm not uh, they took probability they used to teach probability in high school uh, in my part of the world they took probability out of high school about 12 years ago 10 years ago again right they revamped the curriculum and dropped 30 percent of the content so basically the question is this the riddle you got a circle of radius one radius of one radius of one point a b c a b c and uh, are placed on random on a circle what is the probability that the triangle abc is acute so basically they're saying they want this but all the angles have to be less than 90 degrees right all the angles have to be less than 90 degrees so the way i drew it is not going to be the way it would be drawn let's assume it would be a uh, do, do. oh wait a second what does it mean for a triangle to, yeah less there's no angles greater than 90 degrees so all these angles are less than 90 so the way I drew it here let me draw it better uh, that way visually it's more appealing right so if you have this so right it would be like this and the radius is one okay so that means the distance from here to any point is one to there is one and to there is one I'm pretty sure this is, this has a lot to do with it you would have to start off uh, something like that and then ultra all triangles by definition have at least two acute angles okay all acute yeah all acute yeah by definition they have they have to have at least two acute angles right? right so they're all acute they all have to be less than 90 degrees so if they're all less than 90 degrees if the radius is one right you could do this and this plus this plus this has to equal 360 right there's no other sp uh, stipulation of see it get, goes into probability I, I can't do the probability aspect of it um, I haven't done probability on this right but I think this is the way you would have to approach it I believe is this the way you approached it dr. Hang to get an idea to get a because once you do this once you do this then you would have to figure out a point a limit where this angle becomes less than uh, less than what 
right could you use the fact angles yes yeah it's a good start it's a good start I think this is where you would have to start uh, could you use the fact that they're all they all need to be on the same semicircle to have an angle greater than 90 could you use the fact that they all need to be on the same semicircle but they don't all need to be on the same semicircle and if they are all in the same semicircle as long as they're not exactly equal distant they must have an up to yeah up obtuse yeah if they're both if all three on the same semicircle then the angle would be up to so that doesn't work right elder god an acute angle okay this is the definition an acute angle or uh acu an acute triangle or acute angle triangle is a triangle with three acute angles less than 90 degrees an obtuse angle or obtuse angle triangle is a triangle with one obtuse angle greater than 90 degrees and two acute angles yeah to be non-acute uh they do i think yeah to be non-acute they do they would have to be on the same center circle right yeah i wouldn't know how to go about it nice question though difficult difficult but this is the way i would start it this is the way i would start it and then if you find the answer if you know well you know the answer go to our discord page and post the post the solution please dr hank here's our discord page we have a math folder or maths folder in heavy topics not the way i would have wrote it uh, dr hank says yeah very difficult feel free to pivot away from it yeah i took it down <laughs> i'm like i would have to spend all day trying to figure it out and look things up right so can that be used somehow you get a free choice on the first two points yeah but then the third is very constrained for where it can't be and still be acute yeah and here's the thing oh you're looking for the probability not the possible angles so this is like rolling dice let's check this out so that's very good by the way uh ss ssta I did that problem in school but I can't remember so basically your first choice anywhere doesn't matter your second choice anywhere doesn't matter your third choice cannot be in the same semicircle as the other two right so the, the problem would be the semicircle could be if this is the center could be from this point all the way to the other point so if you drew that's a semicircle that's a semicircle so if you put any the point anywhere along here you satisfy the the question right so the probability would just be that right i did that, 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 that. Does, is that correct so if you do this let's take it to the extreme let's you say you put one there and you can't put it exactly on the opposite side let's go you put it here just off that thing then the other point could be anywhere along here so are you close to 50 percent i don't that doesn't make sense hmm yes that's the picture that was in my head i don't know how to translate that to probability well the probability would be you could put the point anywhere along here 
So you could get as close as you want to this point, to the diameter, the semicircle. And as long as you don't touch it, because as soon as you touch it, you're going to get a uh, triangle that's obtuse, right? Then any point along here would make a triangle that's all angles are acute. So are we talking 50%? Dr. Hang, 50%? No. You got a 50% probability of creating a triangle that's a, uh, acute? That seems way too high. Something we're not considering here. No, no, it's, it's way too high. But the allowable arc, you can pick the third point from changes depending on where the first two points are, I think. Yeah, it would really depend on the first two points. Also, I think in the picture below, it would be close to 100. Would it be? Let's assume here. We'd be close to 100 percent. Well, no, because all of the points on here would not not be included. The probability of third point producing a Q triangle is continuous function of the choice of second point. Hence the integral. Is it integral? <laughs> 66 percent uh -huh. is it beat because check this out like any point here would make all these angles acute right as long as this point is not on it does 90 degree count as acute or not no it doesn't 90 degrees is 90 degree triangle it's not acute oh you do not go through the center uh, in the problem below no you don't go through the center you're not through the center right you can't be on the center otherwise this becomes 90 degrees right like that's the that's the circle if you go through the if it's a diameter then any triangle here makes this 90 degrees and you can't you can't do that if you pick the first two points as di diamet uh, diametric then all choices on the third point are night yeah are 90 degrees as long as the points aren't superimposed yeah yes that is what i meant yeah yeah so we just have to be off that right that's why i said it is a close to 50 percent because as soon as you hit it it's 50 percent but okay so 50 percent is too high 50 percent is too high 50 percent is too high so there's something else at play here uh, and it is a relationship between this because let's say the two points go the other extreme let's say this point and this point then what do you have to play with go through the diameters you can only have a point in here for it to be to work right so how do you how do you incorporate that with that right how do you incorporate the two exactly yeah interesting interesting I'm not really sure how to, how to go beyond that I think it's uh, I saw a variable answer and I remember sorry it was 1987 1987 yeah so 0.5 is a way too high upper bound it's a way too high upper bound because the two points the first two points could be very close together if they're very close together on the extreme end here on the extreme end if we draw a circle let's assume the two points are extremely close together if they're both going through the center then you're limited to this so if you did it this way then that would be almost zero percent if you take the average 50 and 25 to zero so 25 percent was that the answer dr hang 25 percent probability that you can make an acute angle no it can't be that simple right 
knowing math the answer probably involves pi yeah yeah pi somehow and maybe e as well yeah maybe some of those some of the magic numbers right <laughs> and zero and one right fun yeah 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 crazy cool though if you do have the answer post it in our discord page uh, dr hang it'd be cool to see it that, especially if there's visuals with it just to get a better visual of this right funny enough 25 percent is correct but i think the argument is not yeah the, the 25 percent is correct so the ma one 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 bound would be 50 percent the other bound would be zero take the average is 25 now if you and if you did it that way on a test would you get marks for it if i was a teacher i'd give the mark i, I would because it would be the, the person went through the logic trying to figure it out right and because we did it this way <laughs> so it is 25 percent, really i wonder if this is a legitimate way of doing it by the way i wonder if this is a legitimate way of doing it also 75 so as a remember i can visualize the geometry but i have no clue how to make it into probability very interesting problem though very interesting problem right i'm more of a of an uh engineer i write code to pick a lot of random points and count to see if that gave me an insight yeah maybe i'm confused i, I don't know other god 75 percent would be the opposite of the 25 right i did it very similar to the way elder god uh lined it out really let's check it out how did elder god line it out I missed it oh I didn't oh there it is elder god the probability of the third point producing an acute triangle is a continuous function of the choice of the second point hence the integral so you, you need to go to into in, integral and that's something place I'm not gonna go it's a variable of the second point it's a variable of the second point which is what we're doing visually right but I don't know how you would go about it with the integral. Yeah, but maybe it's way too complicated now that you came up with this rationale. This rationale seemed it logical. I don't know if it's like how do you prove it? That's the kicker, right? I think trying stuff out to see if it leads to something that looks sane is is a valid approach to finding an answer. Then you can try to find a way to actually solve it. Usually that involves induction just to mess with me. Yeah. Yeah. And prove some horrendous app. So uh, I like lo logical reasoning through things, but integral over the angles at which point a non acute triangle comes out. <laughs> 